Number 21. The hot resistance of a flashlight bulb is 2.3 ohms and it's run by a 1.5 volt uh, alkaline cell having a 0.1 ohm internal resistance. Letter A. What current flows? All right. So first thing is um, this voltage that they gave us, this is basically the EMF, right? That's the cell EMF. So EMF. Now, uh, what I need to do is I need to, in order, remember, we got a little battery here, okay? And then you're going to have some appliance connected to it, right? <laughs> kind of looks like Bart Simpson. I, I don't, not really sure. Um, but that's as good as the drawings are going to get. So what we realize here is that whatever voltage is supplied to this appliance or this bulb will be directly related to and equal to the voltage of the terminals. Let me say that again. The voltage supplied to this bulb is equal to the voltage of the terminals or the voltage at the terminals. So I'm going to use this formula that the terminal voltage is equal to the EMF minus the internal uh, minus the current multiplied then by the internal resistance. If you're talking about a battery that is supplying energy to a particular th item, this is the formula. If you're talking about a battery that's being charged, just take the sign and turn it into a plus. Okay. Now, um, we know the EMF. That's 1.58. Great. We don't know the current. No big deal. Leave it I. And the R. We know the internal resistance is 0.1. Okay. VT. Now, what about this terminal voltage? Well, like I just said, the terminal voltage here would be equal to the voltage over the bulb, right? So in other words, VT should equal VB, meaning the voltage over the bulb. So instead of writing VT here, why don't we just write VB? So let's just erase it. And let's write VP. Now the voltage of the bulb, we should know, would be equal to, thinking about Ohm's law, right? Veer. Current multiplied by resistance. So the voltage of the bulb is equal to the current flowing through the bulb multiplied by the resistance of the bulb. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to substitute it in. Why? Well, because I don't know the voltage of the bulb. But I want to try to get to current. So wait a minute. We're getting close now. 1.58 minus I, 0 0.1. Now, what you have to realize here is that they gave us the re uh, resistance of the bulb. They told, it, they told us it was 2.3 ohms. So we know that. But now the thing is, are these two equivalent? And the answer is yes. Okay, whatever, uh, whatever current is flowing inside of this battery is going to be equal to the current flowing outside. It's like one continuous circuit. So whether I call this IB and this I, I should be consistent now from here on out. I'll just call it I. So this is I then multiplied by 2.3, and that's going to be equal to 1.58 minus I times 0 0.1. Let's do some algebra, right? Add this on over to the left-hand side, so that's going to be 2.4I is equal to then 1.58. Divide both sides by 2.4, and now you're going to get your answer. So uh, 1.58 divided by then 2.4, and we get 0 0.0.658 amps. That's the current. There it is. What letter is that? A. Oh, only A? So letter B, it says calculate the power supplied to the bulb uh, for using I squared and then RB. So that's simple now, right? Power is going to be equal to I squared times the uh, power, excuse me, the resistance of the bulb. So the current is the what we just found, 0.658 squared times then 2.3. And let's see. So that value squared, then multiply by 2.3. And this works out to almost one, right? 0 0.99, I guess seven watts. Cool. And then, is there more? Of course. Let us see. Is this power the same as calculated using V squared over R bulb? Well, why don't we see? So power is equal to V squared over bulb. Now, the question is, what voltage are they talking about here? <laughs> are they talking about the terminal voltage? Or are they talking about the EMF? I don't know, but obviously you can see, depending upon the value we use, either if we use the 1.58, or if I were to now find the terminal voltage, because I can do that now because I know the current, they're obviously going to be different. <laughs> so guess which one's going to be right. If you use the EMF, it's going to be wrong because this is not the actual amount of electromotive force or voltage that is being supplied to this item. It's the terminal voltage. So I can answer that without even doing the calculation. So why don't you do that? Plug in your EMF here, 1.58, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1,
divided that and square it, and then divide that by the 2.3. Let's see what we get. So 1.58 squared divided by 2.3. Shocker, it comes out to be 1.09 or so. That's not equal to this actual power value because this bulb cannot experience the full EMF of the battery because some of it has to go to overcoming that internal resistance. So do this on your own. Take the current you just found here, plug it in for I. Multiply that by the internal resistance, subtract it from then the EMF of 1.58, find your terminal voltage, and then use that value now in this. And you'll see how it works out beautifully. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care.